Okay, where did it bring me back to? Okay, looks like... Oh, this isn't too far back, I guess. That's alright, at least there's somewhat decent checkpoints. I can live with that, I feel. I'll go ahead and take this. Again. <laughs> So I guess there really is no way around this. This is like a tutorial type thing where we learn how these things work, I suppose. Okay, before I do that, if I pull up this menu and uh, field crafting, that's what I was looking for before. Okay, so we can make a fair amount of bullets. We can't make any harpoon bolts right now, which is unfortunate because I feel like that's going to be my bread and butter. And they take those metal bars. That sucks. Alright, so let's make some handgun bullets then. And each bullet takes four gunpowder? Is that what I'm gathering? So, I guess let's make like... It's more expensive to do this right here, so I'm only going to make like six for now. And then really, really hope that that is enough to actually get through this. <laughs> DIY. Reload. Oh, I really wish they would let me disarm this. I really wish that more than anything, guys. Yep, create the field. Okay, let's get in there and uh, try and knife this guy. Because that worked out alright the first time, actually. <laughs> Not so much this time, though. Is that an instant kill? Oh, fuck you, man. So apparently if you get grabbed when your health is that low, it's pretty much always going to be an instant kill. <laughs> We're learning lots right now, guys. We are learning lots. I'm going to try to disarm this again, even though I'm pretty sure we can't do it. Yeah, it's not going to work. Okay. Uh, there we go. He's not dead, though. Get out. Thank you. You better be dead from that. <laughs> okay. Excellent. Uh, so we can definitely use that to our advantage if we know it's coming ahead of time, but it can fuck us over, too. Good lord. Is there anything over here that I needed to grab? Yeah, there's some things that I really should get. Except I'm full on bottles, so never mind. Oh look, we can come in right here too. That's nice, we can avoid the car lady that we triggered last time. And now this should be a very simple matter. Because we're not running for our lives this time. <laughs> Why did he turn around like that? How did he not turn around before when I was being chased by another zombie, but this time he does? Alright. Still doable. It's just a slightly more delicate operation, that's all. No big deal. I want that corner cover kill so bad, guys. I feel like that's going to be so handy throughout so much of this game. Buddy. Okay. Yeah, that being able to move faster while crouch. I mean, all of that is just going to be tremendous. This really is the kind of thing, though, where, like, even just this one dude could fuck me up if I do this incorrectly. Like, this is. At, like, this is honestly kind of difficult so far. Which is great. I just hope that the game does a good job of ramping up my abilities to be able to match some of this stuff so that I'm not just getting, you know, my shit kicked in the entire game. Because after a certain point, it won't be fun anymore. Hurry up, Seb. Hurry up, Seb. Hurry up. Ooh. Okay. God damn it! 
God, there's so many! Okay, now I have to run! Now I have to run! Oh, This sucks! And this is a trap back here, isn't it? Great. There's no way out of this fucking car from this side. Come on, man! Okay. Just shank him and move. Shank him and move. Oh, there's something on the bench right there. I can't stop, though. Look how slow this bar comes back, guys. This is ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous, I tell you. One out this way. Okay, can I use those bushes for cover? Oh, is that an exit right there? I guess there was an exit right there that I didn't notice. Alright, I'm staying right here until they're gone. <laughs> or at least until they're not looking for me anymore. Yeah, like, I couldn't have known that they were there, though. That's the thing. Like, now I know. I can, uh... If I die, I can, like, do it again, and I have that prior knowledge, but... They really like to spring these dudes on you. Without any kind of real, like, prior knowledge. I can't see him. Fuck! He saw me when I was crouched in the bushes. I guess because I moved. Mitchell and Sons Construction. Really? They just run right to you. What if I just stand up here? Can you hit me up here? <laughs> ah! <laughs> they don't care about that either. Motherfuck, guys. Motherfuck. Okay. It's gotta be possible to game this AI somehow. Like, they move way faster than I do when I'm in stealth mode. But if I could just keep circling around somehow and make him not see me for long enough, I feel like it would be possible to game this. Oh, I might have done it. I might have done it, guys. Yes. There we go. Now, does he hang here or does he magnet back to his original spot? He's fucking off. Oh, but he's bringing his buddy out, too. Uh, you know what? I think... I think I'm fine right here. I'm going to come over here and check out this place. Oh, there's a new signal here too, isn't there? That's a red radio signal. <laughs> okay. How close am I to that? Yeah, it's right in this spot. Nice. I saw a padlock over there. We probably had to, like, break that thing open and walk in. Let me check this out first, though. Nice. Give me that loot. Oh, how much will it give me, guys? This is awesome. Keep it coming. Now that's it. I feel like if I do it one more time, they're going to, like, throw out a bomb at me or something. Huh? Guess not. Okay. I feel like they did that in the first game. <laughs> Which makes me, uh, somewhat paranoid. Okay. Okay, okay. So, yeah. This is a red radio signal right here. Does that mean that I'm in the vicinity of this one? Is that all that's trying to tell me? Really? Is it like I'm super close to one of them? I don't know. Let's try and get in here, guys. I don't feel like we're going to be able to handle whatever's going on in here. Hopefully this dude's friendly. But 
but I got to know. Oh god, please be dead for real. Please just be dead. Can't handle more combat right now. Oh, dude, I wonder if they can climb fences. Oh, that would suck. Shit, what? Okay, there's a hole in the fence right there, so he can get me if he decides to. This car alarm is going to be alerting everybody. I just feel, like, supremely outmatched right now, guys. <laughs> like, I'm just utterly unprepared for everything. Getting a fair amount of parts. Smoke powder. This dry powder emits a plume of smoke when exposed to flames. This component can be used to craft useful items. Alright. More crafting parts. I wonder if... Like, new parts will just unlock as we find new items, or if we have to find blueprints, or what have you. I can see it going either way. That looks like a whole new area, guys. I bet you we're going up there at some point. Don't know when, though. Okay, uh... Is that... It's just plants. Okay, for a second I thought it was uh, upgrade goo. I was gonna run over and grab it, but... I think we want to come in here. Hopefully I get a really generous autosave. <laughs> or a checkpoint. Before I mess with whatever this is. Yeah, I did get two of them right there. It's just kind of tricky. Ooh, there's a dead guy. Hey, buddy. What happened to you? I will investigate you in a second. That is just a bottle. Okay. We gotta upgrade our bottle carrying capacity too. Because we're leaving a lot of them behind. Uh, do we want to investigate that or do we want to open the truck? Let's open the truck, guys. Hello. Nails? That is an unbreakable box. Okay. Can I, like, push this out? Use it as cover in a spot that I choose? Probably not. I don't think that's a thing. I need this worse than you do, pal. Oh. New weapon. Great. What the fuck? Alrighty then. Out of ammo. Well, two shots to the dome didn't do it, which means I am out of luck. Give me that. Laser sighted handgun. Oh, the semi automatic pistol has been equipped with a laser sight for improved accuracy at longer ranges. I like that. Did it come with ammo? Is the question. Get away from me. Get away from me. Oh my god, this dude is big and tough. What if I escape? No! Get up there. Smash and climb the box! Or I could just jump the fence here. Okay, fine. That's fair. So... We've got a lot of handguns here, guys. It did come with ammo. Yes! Okay, we're gonna equip that. Gotta be more careful with these things. Oh, come on, man. What was I supposed to do about that? <laughs> That's like the third time they've just sprung an enemy on me without my prior knowledge or consent. They just really like to do that kind of thing in this game, I guess. I kind of want to go kill that guy. I bet you he's got a lot of goo. I wonder if I could stealth kill him, guys. I don't know if it's possible, but I need to try. I really honestly do. You know what? Why don't you go investigate that, sir? So, okay, yep. That was an experiment right there, guys. <laughs> oh, he didn't actually find me, though. He just heard me. I wanted to see if I could get up and just walk at a normal pace. 
without triggering him at a certain distance. This is probably a bad time to test it, honestly, but eh. I just do things, guys. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Yes. Yes! I'm better than you. Fuck you. Give me your shit. Only 300? I thought he would have a lot more than that. Oh, well. All right, was that the thing? Let me check my map here. No, that wasn't the thing. That was something else altogether. But now we have this laser sight, which is super nice. Oh, this is starting to feel a lot like Resident Evil 4, guys. We've got a laser sighted pistol. We've got enemies throwing unlimited axes at us. <laughs> There's a lot of similarities. That is not a bad thing. This is definitely way more survival horror than Resident Evil 4 ever was, though. See, if I start to think about it like Resident Evil 4, that's going to be a really bad thing to do. Because... I really don't think you can play this game like that. But whatever. Alright, so we gotta figure out how to get inside this little building right here. There's gotta be a door on one of these avenues. There are too many dudes there. I am not gonna risk that. I don't know. I'm in kind of bad shape, guys. Maybe I should just make a beeline for the safe house. I could heal there. I could do some crafting at lower cost. It's really not that far away. I think that's honestly kind of a good idea. Now, it's probably going to be guarded. By, like, a lot of random enemies, but... We have to risk it, right? Like, we have to try. That is not a breakable box. Try and grab as much of this loot as possible while we're out here, though. There are noises going on inside this place that do not sound good. Really don't like it. What the fuck is that thing, guys? That is something that I am not willing, nor prepared, nor equipped to deal with. So, we're just gonna bypass that for now. Try and get to the safe house as quickly as humanly possible. So many areas to explore in this game. Like, so many buildings and different little nooks and crannies that have different things going on. What is this? It's a big-ass Mobius lock. <laughs> I can't get in there right now. Can I get underneath this place? <laughs> no. Yeah, this place is shut up real tight. They got locks on all the doors. We're gonna have to figure out, like, how we open those. We probably get a key from a Mobius agent at some point, right? Maybe that's what we get from one of those radio frequency encounters over there. We'll definitely go back and do those, guys. I just kind of need to get to a safe house right now. Something real shitty happened around this spot, though. Fuck. The safe house is locked. Come on. Give me a key, please. You've got to let me in here. Ooh. That's handy. Oh! This is a fuse box, isn't it? Broken fuse boxes can be powered momentarily by firing a shock bolt from the warden crossbow into them. Okay, this is going to be how we unlock this. Let me just check the immediate area here. I'm not going far. I just got to find any nearby items. What the fuck is that? It's another one of those dudes. And uh, I think it's a bottle. I'm not going for it. Wait, what's in that truck? Oh, there's something in the truck, though. I don't think there's too much going on around here, guys. I think we're safe. Famous last words. I'll take those. I'll take whatever's in here. Gunpowder. Sweet. The more gunpowder, the better. Oh, shit. What's this?
Nice! Shotgun shells! Does that mean there's a shotgun nearby? Oh, how sweet that would be, guys. Anything in the back of this truck? Nope. Okay. I think we're good. Let's go ahead and get inside this place. Just shoot it right into the center here. Oh. Didn't take care of the locks, but it opened this door. Okay. And a resonance point has been logged. I'm not sure I fully understand the whole resonance thing yet. Oh, god damn it! Seriously? Okay. They are really mean about this. I don't like it. Ah! And that brought another one to life. Just let me inside. Please, just let me inside. Safe house. I'm safe in here. Good god. <laughs> just the act of shooting that dude in the face brought another one back. Oh, lord. So many surprises. Give me that coffee. I need health. <laughs> oh, that's nice. That is a good feature. Full health restore. Alright, so in this spot... Oh, they've got some goodies for us over here. Check that out, guys. I will take the parts. We're definitely going to go back to Mirror World, but let's look around first. What's this? Report 122. Recruits. Re-recruitment and MU centers. The number of applicants received through the MU centers has surpassed that of the medical testing fronts. Registering... Uh, I think it's supposed to be Moo centers. Registering the Moo centers as a tax-free religious institution has increased revenue, which we've used to render expansions to accommodate the influx of new recruits. Mr. Wallace's use of neuro-linguistic programming creates recruits that are far more mentally malleable and stable than previous STEM candidates. Moo Center recruits are also willing to voluntarily cut off fam uh, familial ties, which eases the pressure on Mobius operatives working in law enforcement. No more pesky missing persons reports to file. It is my recommendation that Moo Center recruitment becomes a Mobius standard for all new citizens. It has been a resounding success. Yeah, so that shouldn't be all that surprising. This corporation's a little evil. And it seems like a lot of their recruits aren't even people who are really here willingly. What is this? Go to the Marrow Operations? What the hell is this? I'm not even going to mess with that right now, guys. I can't get into more right now. I need to go back first. Here we have a smoke bolt. This crossbow bolt releases a cloud of smoke centered around its impact point. Sometimes stealth is a better option than fighting. It's easier to escape or sneak kill when enemies can't see you. Ah. Upgrading your smoke bolts at a workbench can give you the ability to sneak kill enemies trapped inside the area of effect. Very, very nice. So many good upgrades. I want them all, but it's going to be slow going, I think, in order to get all of them. I do wonder if they would do something like stash a statue inside these safe houses. A statue with a key. They're probably all going to be out in the world, right? Yeah, okay. Well, let's go ahead and go back to Mirror World. Oh, there's no workbench in here, is there? I just realized. Oh, but there's one back in Mirror World, so that's okay. Where is the mirror? I heard it shatter when I walked in here. There it is, on the wall over there. Long Cash needs some upgrades. All the upgrades. That's really quick to get back to this room here. I like that. Which is a little weird, because the load times when you die and respawn are actually pretty long, guys. All things considered. Alright, let's handle these upgrades first. Nurse Tatiana, could you come attend to me? Looks like... You brought there. something Whoa. with you. A key? Excellent. Some keys open doors of perception, but this isn't one of them. This one is more mundane. But still useful. Cool. Go on. Open one. Its contents are better off in your hands than locked away in here. I agree. <laughs> so, let's see. 
It told me earlier that there were what? Was it 38 keys? 32 or 38? I can't remember. Here there are 6, 8, 32. Yeah. 32 keys, 32 lockers. I guess we'll just start from the top and work our way down. And that is 10 gunpowder. Yeah. Not as much as I was hoping for. But okay. Oh, we can talk to the nurse every time, too. I like that. How am I ever going to get these nails right if you keep interrupting my manicure? Not my problem. I'm also trying to figure out if she's the same voice actress from the first game. I honestly can't tell, guys. I think she sounds really similar, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was a different person, too. Okay, so the very first thing, we need to increase our stealth a little bit, I feel. So I'm going to come in here and buy a low profile. And then from there, we can go to Prowler 1, move faster. That would be almost all of our upgrade goo right there. But that's so good. What else do we have in this tree? Bottle break? That's really good, too. Oh, shit, guys. That's a good skill, because that could really save your ass when you're low on health and you get grabbed. Perform sneak kills from around a corner? These are all good! Oh. I guess, shouldn't we spread the love out a little bit, though? Like, <laughs> the reticule sway hasn't really bothered me so far, to be honest. I don't know if I care that much about that. But we have to buy it. We have to start there. Increased life gauge could also be fantastic. Uh, increased stamina gauge is like... That's gotta be... You know what? I think I should. I think I should upgrade this. Rather than just going nuts on the, the stealth tree right off the bat. I think I should just grab a little bit of everything. That leaves me with 1,700. Uh, recover more health when using healing items. That's perfect. Let's grab that. Points well spent. I dare say. So yeah, it seems like you have a little less freedom when determining your upgrades in this game, but the trade-off to that is that it allows them to craft a more uh, tight experience when it comes to the balance of the combat and the way that enemies scale up and the way that you scale up. So it's a trade-off, you know. Okay. Now, here's my biggest problem right now, guys. I don't know how worth it it is to upgrade some of these handguns because... Actually, we can still only upgrade the original handgun. We can't upgrade the handgun that came with the scope, can we? The laser targeter, I should say. That fucking sucks. Oh, that really drags me down. Hmm. I guess we're stuck upgrading this original handgun. I don't know. Before that, let's actually do some... Warden crossbow upgrades because I really love that thing. I hope I find a lot of parts for it. Uh, the range takes only 25 parts. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I could do a lot in here actually. Let's go ahead and grab a range upgrade right off the bat. This is where I'm cheating a little bit because of my pre-order bonus. <laughs> Increased damage. Now, I remember that when you upgraded these all the way in the first game, they got fire properties. Harpoons become wreath and flame, causing struck enemies to be set ablaze. Oh, that's so badass. I absolutely want that. I just don't know how many of these I'm going to be able to actually use throughout the course of this game. I don't care. I'm buying them. We are getting some harpoon bolts, guys. We are getting some flaming harpoon bolts as soon as humanly possible. And charge time. We should knock that down a little bit, too. In fact, I think unlocks level 2 enhancements for the Warden's Crossbow, range and charge time. Also unlocks level 2 enhancements for all bolt types. How much does this cost? Use a high-grade weapon part to upgrade your weapon to level 2. Oh, that's what those are for. Right. Uh, yeah. Well, this is the only one we have right now. That's okay. I'm going to use it. Because I really want to get this charge down time. Super duper low. Making things a little easier. <laughs> Alright, so we got it down to 0.86 seconds, which is... That's a huge decrease from what it was at. And then the last level is 0.6. That's kind of a small decrease. I'm not super worried about that right this moment. 
and shock bolt upgrades effect chains to more enemies over a greater distance uh, I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be using it for that purpose Increase smoke duration that seems like a good thing to do especially with the heavy emphasis on stealth in this game let's grab that I am going to hold off on all of the pistol upgrades for now guys because I got to find out whether there's other pistols worth upgrading over this one if this game really is like Resident Evil 4 that's gonna be the case <laughs> okay and then coming in here handgun bullets from this workbench costs only two gunpowder that's less that's like way less than it was before because before it was like what was it six so it's totally worth waiting until you can get in here to do this, if possible. I'm going to max out my... No, let's not max it. Let's, uh... Let's do 20. That's the, That should be a good start, I feel. And then syringes. They cost three herbs. I've got 13. Let's go ahead and make two of them. Smoke bolts, shock bolts... That takes gunpowder and a fuse. I can make one. Sure. And then the smoke bolt. They only take one gunpowder? Damn, that's nice. Sure. Use them if you got them. <laughs> smoke them if you got them, right guys? Okay, I think I'm good. I feel slightly more prepared to be back out there doing really, really dangerous and difficult things now. Thought I saw this cat. What the fuck are you growling about? I didn't get any new slides. There's no reason to do this projector, is there? I thought I was activating the cat when I hit that button, but that's not what was happening. <laughs> hey, dude, could you, like, give me some more upgrade goo like you did before? Because if you're hoarding any of that and I find out, I'm going to be angry. I need it all up front, okay? I really, really do. Yeah, I thought I saw that plaque on the wall glowing, which is why I walked over here, but eh, I guess I was wrong. Okay, so we're probably done in here, guys. I'm going to take a short break, and when we come back, we'll head back outside, and um, I guess we'll backtrack and try and get those other resident signals from the Mobius team members and see what that's all about. It's probably going to go horribly for me, but we've got to investigate anyway, right, guys? <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you're enjoying, and I appreciate the support. I'm Dude Long Couch. I'll see you when we come back. Have a good one, guys.